Like X, y'all. It is 12:55 in the afternoon, and uh, I'm just getting out here. Let's see if we can't scare up some bass. So here's what I've got tied on my moving bait rod. It's an owner underspin with a Strike King Rage Swimmer, I believe that's what it's called. Kind of a big presentation, but. Now we're at the second spot that it usually produces. First spot didn't. It's been real slow out here this morning, afternoon, whatever. Soaking the Texas rig on the bottom right now. That was a heck of a fight. I only got half of it on camera. On the wacky rig. Alright, so I've made it to the far side of the lake. 
Um, I've had one fish that three and a half, I'm guessing it was three and a half. That's how it felt, short and stocky. Um, three and a half pounder, which was awesome, made my day. On the wacky rig, um, had me hung up under the dock like three or four times. I don't know if you guys can see it in the footage. We'll see how it turns out. But um, yeah, slow out here, slow going. Howdy. How you doing? Alright guys, we are off the water. Don't know if I'm going to head straight home yet. Haven't made up my mind. So, I'm going to do a little driving around. And then, uh, probably get headed home. Only caught one fish, but it was a quality, quality fish. Hey guys, home now. That was a uh, that was a grind out there today. Only had one fish, but it was uh, it was a doozy. And that thing had me wrapped up. I just got done watching the clip back on the the GoPro. And it doesn't do it justice. That thing had it me wrapped under the dock three ways to Sunday. You can hear it splashing up under the dock at one point. I thought for sure it was gonna come off, but I had it pinned good, and. Um, finally managed to grab the leader, drag the thing out from under the dock, take some slack up and then dip it in the net, dip the net. So um, it was a chore. That's why I said in the clip that was a chore. It was a pain in the butt to get that bass in and it was towing me straight into the dock and it just kept bouncing me off the dock. I kept having to push myself off of it. So very fun. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave Lake X alone for at least a week. We've only got another 30 days to fish it, so before it closes for the winter. That goes for a lot of lakes that we've been fishing, so yeah. Alright, unless anything else interesting happens, I think this is going to wrap the video up. Thanks for watching, thanks for the continued support. Um, I really appreciate the support on the last video. I had a lot of fun making it, and um, it seems that it's doing okay on the channel, so. All right, y'all. Later.